What's up everybody, it's Jelly with Squid Industries and today I'm gonna to be bringing you all another tutorial. This time I'll be teaching you how to do the basic fan and the reverse fan. These fans are essential to learn and you'll use them in a lot of your combos as well as other advanced fan tricks that you'll learn down the line. So the only prerequisite trick you need to learn before learning these is the basic opening. So if you already know that, then let's get started by breaking down the basic fan. To do the basic fan, you want to start by holding the safe handle and flicking the bite handle out like this. Your grip on the safe handle should look like this with your pinky and your ring curled in towards the bottom, your middle finger curled but supporting the middle, and your index finger up here near the top. And your grip should be really loose so that once the valley is fanning, it can fan freely and it won't get all stuck like, like this. So flick it out and again, once it's in this position, you can start that momentum. I like to start it with the motion of my wrist and you'll feel your index finger kind of push that handle too once you start the fan. If you're having trouble starting the fan like that, where you flick out and just use your wrist, then you can alternatively use your thumb to assist you. It's important to learn both methods because there are some combos where you just can't use your thumb to assist it and there's others where it might be easier to start the fan and also easier to get out of the trick if you start the fan with your thumb. To do it with your thumb, you can just put your thumb on the edge of the handle here. And then with your index finger up here, as it's in this T position, twist it like a screwdriver. And with your grip really loose, you'll see that it does a couple fans. But you can do the same just by flicking out and twisting your wrist like that. So to keep the fan actually going, what you can do is just jiggle your hand up and down. So as soon as you get that swing, just jiggle your hand up and down and see how many fans you can do. There's a little bit more nuance to it, but that's basically it. You're just jiggling your hand up and down. You'll feel that the valley safe handle here will rotate on your index finger. So since your index finger is right here, after each rotation, you're almost pushing it that way with your index finger. And remember that the direction of the basic fan again is coming this way. So if you're looking at the bite handle, it is swinging up towards your face and then back down towards the ground and then back up again. You just wanna get used to the rhythm of moving up and down according to the weight that's spinning around and you'll feel it as it's coming down. You're gonna feel that weight fall and then that's when you can bring the valley back up. And while it's in that momentum, if you bring your hand back up, it's gonna naturally bring the handle up and then bring it down, it's gonna go down. So just get used to that rhythm of going up and down. And then to stop the trick, just slow down and dip your hand down and the spine of the blade will naturally fall over your fingers. And this way you can just bring it up and close off the trick. The reverse fan is actually very similar to the basic fan in terms of the movement that you're doing and the grip you'll have. So again, you're gonna hold the safe handle, flick it out to a T position. Your grip is gonna be the exact same this is where it's different though. The reverse fan spins the other way. So if you're looking at the bite handle, it's gonna go away from your face. So flick it out and to start it with just the motion of your wrist, I like to pull back almost diagonally and then get into that up and down motion. So out and then pull back just a little bit and then up and down. And to stop it, it's the same as well. You can just slow down, let that spine of the blade fall over your fingers so you can bring it back up. To start it with your thumb, I actually think it's a little bit easier to start the reverse fan with your thumb. So flick it out and then I'll put my thumb on the edge here. So it's gonna look like this when the valley is opened and then I'll twist it like a screwdriver and then jiggle my hand up and down. Now I'll teach you a quick little combo that you can do with both of those fans. So once you got them both down, you can actually combine them just by stopping the fan with your thumb. So here's the basic fan and I'll stop the fan with my thumb by gripping onto the safe handle. And then I'll twist it the other way, like how I showed you to start the fan with your thumb. You can stop an ongoing fan and then twist it in the other direction. And you can just go 
back and forth between those. It's pretty fun to just fidget and keep fanning like this back and forth, and it's good practice. Now that you know the most basic version of these fans, I'll show you a couple different ways to use them in combos by getting into them and out of them with different tricks. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you got those fans down. If you don't got them just yet, keep practicing and I promise you'll get it down in no time. If you're ready to move on to some other tricks though, check out our tutorials playlist. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and get notified when we release more tutorials by clicking that bell button. Click, click that bell button right now so you get notified. If you haven't already, follow us on our other social media platforms and visit the Squid Industries website so you can pick up a balisong and start flipping today. I'm going to leave you all with a quick flipping clip, so see you next time.